Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I'm here today to review the new series that just premiered on Fox just now, Lethal Weapon. And it's the TV version of the popular movie action series that they did four of a long a while back. With starring Mel, Go uh, Mel, Mel, Gobson, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover, of course. And reply, uh, and playing them is in a Danny Glover role is uh, Damon Wayans. And then in uh, Mel Gibson role is a guy i never seen before called, uh, was it? Oh, crap. Where's the thing go? Clay and Clay Crawford, who i never seen before. And uh, it starts off right in the middle of the action with a bunch of things happening. And uh, I don't want to give away a whole lot. His wife is going to have a baby. Uh, that's uh, Martin Riggs' character, the Mel Gibson character. Uh, and then something really shocking happens that really comes out of left field. I wasn't expecting because it was really laid, uh, mellow back. It was really like laid back, kind of action, like a harmless action series. And then something really, boom, really happened that surprised me. And then you have six months later, and you see uh, uh, Damon Wayans. I'm just going to say Damon Wayans and Crane, Cr Crane Crawford. And say, you know, and they were the, you know, characters from there. Um, I see him in bed with his wife. He just had like, open heart. he just had heart surgery and stuff like that. He had a heart attack. He had a heart monitor to put on his hand like a wristwatch, you know, to measure his heart, you know. And, uh, you know, she, he was, she wanted, he was going back to the force. He age 50. And she was going to uh, give him some stress relief. And boy, it was getting, I mean, for network TV, there was a scene that was going to be pretty racy. If it, and then it cut away to something else. But it was getting racy. And it gets racy towards the end of the show a little bit. I mean, for network TV, mind you. Um, I, th I think they probably did some crap like that on FX, probably. Um, and basically, they become partners eventually, the Clayne Crawford and Damon Wayans. And there's a crazy thing with, during a bank robbery that I, a lot of, some of the stuff, I just, it was it was presented that way. I just really didn't get into it that much. But I knew exactly how it was going to end and stuff. It was interesting. Uh, shows the guy being nuts. And uh, so, so, and then that's his partner. And then you get, uh, they go on this uh, investigation and the way the detective work and stuff is, it's very rushed, very quickly paced. It's hard to get into it. At least this episode. And a whole bunch of bad things happen. And then uh, uh, the guy they have to answer to, uh, the police commissioner, gives them hell. But, I mean, he doesn't seem very believable at all. You know, because the one in uh, the commissioner in the Lethal Weapon movies was pretty, he seemed like he was really pissed. This guy seems like he's, like, miffed or irritated, not pissed like that other guy was. Um, and then eventually, you know, like, like the action scenes, like there's a scene where they have a car chase. All of a sudden they're in the Grand Prix. And that seems very cartoonish to me. I didn't mind it though. And it's very lively. It's never boring. It's just, it was tough to get, you just really weren't really into it. At least not now. Cause then, you know, it's the pilot show. So I mean, you, sometimes you really have to get involved with the characters and stuff. And then about 36... 34, 36 minutes, there's a scene with Danny Glover in his house, and then uh, the Martin Riggs character comes over, and they have dinner, uh, dinner, and then that was a great scene, and there was a scene with uh, Dane Wayne and his son, who was just born. That was a great scene with him and Martin Riggs. All that stuff was great, and it, you really get, the, with the emotional stuff, you really get a sense of the character. That's when the movie st show started to really gel. Because before it was just a bunch of really cool things happening that you really weren't involved in that much. But, I mean, that's when it really started to gel. And uh, they finished out... I don't, I don't want to give away any spoilers, but, I mean, some other stuff happens that seems very unrealistic. Uh, but there's, like, one part that was really good, and then the end was really good. I don't want to get... I, I'm trying to say this without spoilers. Cause I don't want to give any spoilers away. But from the looks of it, I definitely want to check out another episode of it. The biggest distraction is, since it's called Lethal Weapon, you keep uh, wanting to compare the actors to 
Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. Damon Wayans is kind of like Danny Glover, but I mean, he's still he's still Damon Wayans, you know. In his mannerism and stuff like that, he's definitely Damon Wayans all the way. And he's a good actor. And then the other guy, kind of like Mel Gibson, kind of, uh, sort of. I mean, he does a really good job. They're both fine actors. I think they did do a good job. I just think it's distracting trying to place them. You know, make correlation between them and in the movie series. You know what I mean? But, I mean, it's still very entertaining. I think those the smaller emotional moments work really well. You know, and then, I mean, I definitely will tune in to see the next episode. But for right now, I mean, the detective stuff and some of the uh, action, scenes, action scenes seem kind of cartoonish. And then uh, detective stuff seems very rushed. But, I mean, the chemistry is there. It's starting to, you know, there were some very effective moments in it, but it's not perfect as a whole. Not like the Lethal Weapon series. The Lethal Weapon film series were fantastic, especially the second one. Uh, I liked it. Well, I liked all of them, but I think the second one was the best. But uh, I think it has a lot of promise. And I'll definitely be tuning in to see another episode. So, right now, uh, I'm going to give Lethal Weapon... Uh, 7 out of 10, which is a C. I mean, it definitely has room to improve. But I think they built the chemistry pretty good after right where that dinner table scene was. They really got the chemistry down right. And we'll see what happens. I mean, they could have easily have called it uh, something else. It'd be like a cop buddy show anyways. Instead of calling it Lethal Weapon, they just did that to get people to, to get the uh, ratings and stuff. You know, try to base off a of popular... Um, film series, you know. But they could have easily called it like uh, something else. And then people say, well, it has like uh, some correlations to Lethal Weapon. But, I mean, because this way it's kind of a, dis a detract uh, distraction. You know, it's not like the Bowery Boys detraction, it's said distraction. Uh, between the characters on the movie series and the characters on the TV show. But I think they did a decent job. So I give for right now, it's a 7 out of 10 for Lethal Weapon. It just premiered on Fox. And it's uh, on at 8 o'clock Wednesday nights. So until next time, bye please. Take care of my legion.